hello world we've just loaded into carowinds again now i've done a lot of carowinds videos this year because i absolutely love coming here and i hope i've kept you guys up to date giving you some good news and uh, pointers on carowinds but i am really excited hey there goes the intimidator right there i'm really excited about this video the most because I am giving you updates on Scarewinds. Now, it is August 29th right now, so Scarewinds isn't happening right now. That doesn't begin until September 17th. But I have heard that there are some updates in there, like they're starting to build some of the scare zones and stuff. So we're gonna go in there today and walk you around and see what that's all about. Maybe see if we can find some merch and possibly some food. But regardless, we're gonna have a good time and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's go have some fun. As I said before, it is August 29th right now, which is a Sunday and look at how empty this parking lot is. We are normally at, I think it's row 37, and we're parked at around row 23 right now. So I'm really hoping that the lines for the roller coasters are gonna be short. Might hop on a few of them while we're here. Now the first thing I've noticed is that normally for scare winds, they put a big red S right here. And they also put eyes up here on the observation tower and neither of those have happened yet. So the sign out front is still in care winds mode. Now, one of my favorite things when you come into Scarewinds is to look up here at the Sky Tower and they put like big red eyes up there and they leave it at the top spinning the whole time Scarewinds is happening. So it looks really cool to see those big ominous red eyes just spinning around looking at everybody in the park and stuff. Interesting to note that, you know, in Epcot, when people go to Epcot, they always talk about, do you go to the Mexican Pavilion or the Canadian Pavilion first? which is basically left or right. There's a fork in the road and we have the same kind of situation here. There's a fork to go left to Intimidator or a fork to go right to the Fury. But I do want you to notice that this little area right here is roped off, fenced off, I guess you would say. I guess they're getting ready for a show for Scarewinds. This little sign right here is gonna tell you when scare winds happens and it is right next to Intimidator. So it's happening from September 17th to August 31st and it only happens on select nights. So make sure you go down to the description below, click on the Care Winds' website and check those dates. Now I wanted to point this out, this is kind of funny. I'm going to Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios as well. And their main person over there, their main scary person is called Jack the Clown. I don't know if Scarewinds is going to have a main clown this year too or not, but they're advertising a clown. Now, first things first, there's a new rule about masks here at Carowinds. When you uh, walk into any indoor area, it is now saying that you are required to wear a face mask and it does not mention anything about vaccines or not. So at, at least at this current moment, you are required to wear a face mask when you go indoors at Carowinds. All right, we're gonna make a quick pit stop real quick to come over to Camp Snoopy and check out their new show that they have. I don't really know if it's a show or just a dance party because it's literally called Franklin's Dance Party. So I don't know if it's really like a coordinated show or if they just play music and dance, but we're soon to find out. Um, my daughter's excited for stuff like this, so I always enjoy taking her to the, these things. think about me I'm probably not the best dancer you know I know that's a surprise at all I don't think it's a surprise it's a surprise everybody thinks I'm dancing I mean I, you know when you look like this you just have to be a good dancer but anyways I'm gonna turn you guys around and show you something cool all right, we just left out of Franklin's dance party and headed over here. And I wanted to point out something that I haven't put on a video yet. And that is that the playground over here is open. So that's really cool for people like me who have kids. My goodness, let them run around, get all the wiggles out. Super excited to see this open back up. All right, we're going to head on into Camp Snoopy for our first 
Scarewinds Maze. Yeah, that's right. They call them maze, mazes. They have five of them right now. Two of them are brand new to this year. And then they have a few scare zones as well. So let's go over here and check out the first house or maze. Sorry, they call it maze. Right, right above that fence line right there, you see an old rusty looking building. I believe that is going to be Depths of Darkness. If I remember correctly, it's been a long time since I've been to Scarewinds because last year it was closed. So down here, right underneath the Intimidator, right in Camp Snoopy next to the teacup things uh, is going to be Depths of Darkness. That's the first uh, maze that we're going to look at. And if you can see inside there, I'm not going to hold the camera up because I don't like it when vloggers do that. There is some old timey looking uh, little structures. It looks kind of like Western style buildings. That is probably going to be pieces to a scare zone as well. And that is called Outlaw's Revenge. So I'm giving you a little sneak peek of both of those depths of darkness in that building right in there. And these little wooden structures, Outlaw's Revenge. Oh, there's a little horse carriage in there. I'll scoot up a little bit so you all can see better. Now though, I'm not gonna read the entire description of Depths of Darkness for you because that like can get pretty wordy and I don't wanna bore you, but I'm gonna put a link to Scarewinds in the description. So if you wanna read the whole story behind all of these mazes and scare zones, you can click on that link. There goes Intimidator. <laughs> you can click on that link and read them yourselves. But to just give you a little bit of an idea of what Depths of Darkness is about, it's talking about a serial killer being on the loose. And it actually says there is the area is nothing but pitch black darkness. You're both sightless and powerless. So yeah, apparently there's a serial killer on the loose. You're running from them and you can't see that well. So it sounds pretty scary to me. Dang guys, I was already excited for Halloween, but seeing uh, Depths of Darkness and Outlaws Revenge stuff out, it's got me that much more pumped up. I'm going to do like two to three videos on Carowinds, and I'm even going to go around and do some local haunts outside of Scarewinds. So if you want to see those, I want to remind you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that you can stay updated on all the cool stuff that's happening in the area for Halloween right after you leave out of camp snoopy on the afterburn side you're gonna come up to this little area and i think this right next to bailey's barnyard uh, gift shop i think this is going to be where the new scare zone goes it's going to be called raven's nest and it says that you stumble upon a park and it has uh, victorian architecture and stuff and you see all these like raven looking people walking around looks very scary and there is actually if you didn't know this oh yeah see where those people are walking there's another walkway so i'm guessing that's where you're gonna have to walk for this scare zone but y'all it looks good i mean you need to check this stuff out on carowinds website make sure you subscribe to be prepared to get some updates and just oh my gosh i'm so excited i can't stand it all right y'all i'm seeing my first signs of a scare zone actually in the park and that is carn evil you can see right behind me that crazy looking clown well if you hate clowns then this is definitely for you <laughs> in, in the description for this it's talking about how these clowns were happy and they wanted to make you laugh and something snapped and they don't want to do that anymore so this is actually called carn evil and it's a pretty good little scare zone. I love it. I think clowns are creepy. Honestly, when they're meant to be happy, they're still creepy. But Carn Evil is a pretty good little scare zone. Over behind Carn Evil, we decided to stop and get us a drink because this place is hot right now. At a place, we're gonna get a drink at a place called Rita's. And right here's what we got. We got the Copperhead Frostbite. If you didn't know, this drink is themed up after the roller coaster. And this has mango and pineapple in it pretty good all right we have ventured over to the county fair to find dead man's landing and that is like a pirate theme when if i remember from uh correctly from the last time i've been to scare winds they had like this big skull rock yeah there it is i'll take you all over there here in a little bit but they had a mermaid there and things and like an, a pirate and it was a really cool photo op so I, I kind of thought that was cool, but like I came back later on that year and they didn't have the mermaid for the rest of the, the season. So hopefully that mermaid's out because I thought it was cool. Kids liked him. So the legend of this little town right here is that Blackbeard was once here and I guess they're now ghosts. <laughs> but look, here you got dead pigs and things, the meat market side of town. Let's go over there and check out that rock. 
pretty cool. It's got a little skull in it. All right, here it is. They have water, I think, that comes out of the mouth. Maybe it's the eyes, yeah. So if you can see up there at the eyes, they have like little pipes up there and water comes down into this pool. Oh, and is it just me, if I remember correctly? Wasn't this the side that had like a cannon hidden somewhere and the cannon would go off every now and then? That was like the scariest thing at Scarewinds one year. It was the loudest cannon ever. And now we're coming up on a scare zone called Grave Walkers. And the story behind that is that some Carowinds guests never want to leave. They want to stay for a lifetime. And then it says, and beyond. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I remember walking through here. There's a lot of smoke and things, and they like to hide behind stuff like this and jump out at you and, you know, give you a minor heart attack. Uh, there's also little, like, places. See where she's walking over there in that area? They like to get in and hide, and when you walk by, they jump out and scare the you-know-what out of you. Let's go down here and see what's inside this thing. Oh, see, this is another one of those things. See, it's got overgrown vines and things. Right now, it's plywooded up, but that plywood will be removed for scare winds, and a scare actor will be inside of there, ready to jump out at you. It's scary. Right next to the hurler and the drop zone tower you've got red ribbon meats it is right there where my fingertip is and when i was uh young and i just started coming to this i loved absolutely loved this haunted maze it was so much fun it's kind of like you're stuck in like a meat like department of a grocery store and there's like pigs cutting up humans and things Holy cow, it was, it's called the, the Slaughterhouse, the final cut. So um, I really enjoy this, it's super fun. There's people like laying on tables and pigs cutting on them. It is very, very, very creepy, but it was one of the first on a mazes that I ever did. Now, if you notice, it's called Red Ribbon Meats there. That's the name of the meat market that you go into. The D in red, the I in ribbon, and the E in meats lights up a little brighter than the rest and what does that spell d-i-e spells die so it is really creepy i love this maze we now find ourselves underneath the fury 3254 silver scream studios condemned now the line for this is probably going to be right here where the uh, door is with the latch right in front of the screen right there and the building for it is actually over next to the fury right about there so you're going to walk around behind the lockers the story behind it is that there is a group of people who figure out some weird creepy story on the internet and the story is that there is a director that tried to make a haunted movie and instead of you know being nice to the actors he kind of killed them so that was 20 years ago and we're the kids going to check out the building and a lot of creepy things happens this this is an older one but i like it it's a lot of fun we are now in ripper alley it's another scare zone it's located right underneath uh nighthawk on that little pathway that connects you over to uh the carolina harbor you know so this is what it looks like. It transports you to London, and there's supposed to be ghosts and things here because ghosts happen in places of great misery, and that's the theme to this. All right, right past the scare zone, Ripper Alley, and underneath the Nighthawk roller coaster, you're gonna be able to see your very first uh, maze that is new this year, and that's gonna be called the Tooth Fairy. And the theme to this is obviously the Tooth Fairy, and it says that she seeks out parents who don't believe in her and she has assistants and things that are gonna extract and gas you and stuff and take your teeth out your mouth so all you kids who are not parents I guess you're good because it says she's seeking out parents um, if you've got dentures I guess you're good too um, either way I am a parent and I have real teeth so I'm a little bit nervous about this one at the Crossroads Gazebo area, you're going to find Outlaw's Revenge. And this area is where all of the Wild West people who've been shot, who's cheated during card games and got their payback, they're going to be haunting you and jumping maybe through these bars. Let's look in here. Wouldn't it be crazy if somebody jumped out at us right now? I swear, I think I'd have a heart attack. But yeah, this, this is going to be a lot more themed than it is right now. The whole area, the whole park is going to be more themed. You're going to see like a horse-drawn carriage thing out here and all that. 
The covered bridge here at Kitty Hawk used to always be themed for a scare zone. I think the last time I did this, it was like a playground of some sort, um, but I'm not seeing any information on there being a scare zone here this year. Correct me if I'm wrong, y'all, but I do not know of anything that's supposed to be in this area. Shake Central here is new this year and they have three standard milkshakes, but then one is kind of themed. And I've been seeing the Celebration Shake all year long and I would love to see something for scare wins here. Some sort of themed up milkshake for Halloween. All right, that's all the updates I can show you now. However, I do want you to remember that Scarewinds is gonna be much bigger than this. Uh, Carowinds puts on a really good show and there's a lot more stuff to it, like more props, uh, fog machines, a lot of scare actors. It is a lot of fun. So I am gonna take, out, take off, get out of Carowinds now, head on back towards Charlotte, North Carolina. But I really hope you guys had fun watching this video. Thanks for playing, bye.